All right, guys, once again, we are back at the scare house. We are still setting up all kinds of animatronics between me and my son, that other Nate guy on YouTube. If you want to check out what he's been doing, bounce over to his channel. Make sure you subscribe today on this channel right here, right now. We are going to be setting up an animatronic that is brand new for 2024 from Spirit Halloween, and that is this little lady right here, Shirley Stab. What the heck is going on with this chick? Let's just take a look at her box before we get started check out the look on her face oh my gosh i absolutely love that pumpkin carved face right there that is so cool so her name is shirley stab 2024 spirit halloween knife wielding arm moves in a stabbing motion carved face lights up with flickering orange leds makes atmospheric noises and plays 50s inspired music i really like that stands five feet eight inches tall this is what the front of the box looks like and as we turn it around here is one side surely stab it tells the same things as on the front a couple of awesome pictures here i can't get over the look on her face look at that so very cool and on the back of the box as always we have shirley stabs story which you can freeze the frame if you want to and read that right now or you can even go to the website and read it for yourself and the last side over here we have a full body shot stands five feet eight inches tall and the first thing i noticed about her aside from her awesome carved face is that she's stabbing with her left arm. I don't recall that we've seen very many animatronics stabbing with their left arm. So there you go, one for the lefties. Okay, let's go ahead and get her unboxed here and get everything laid out on a table. Okay, first up. Oh, okay, she's got one of these boxes where you have to pull the entire thing out. All right, so we'll lay that on a the table there. Keep that box right there, wow. Everything is like tied down in here. What the heck? I suppose we gotta keep the box open so we can put stuff in it. I guess we have to undo all these twist ties in order to get anything out. Here's a leg. Oh, okay, now I get it. Whenever I was building my life-size ghost face, I took a picture with the leg holding it like this because I had the boot on there and people thought I was holding the leg from this animatronic. So now I get it, seeing the leg. That's hilarious. All right, there's one. Kind of weird that everything's tied down with these twisties. Kind of a pain in the butt. Leg number two. We got, I guess this would be her hip hoop. There's our instructions. Oh wow, there's even more on the back. Hope she doesn't start falling out all over the place. Upper body, her torso. Look at that hairdo. Stay. There's her clothes, her base, and wow, everything is zip tied together. So there's the base and there's her mechanism box. Let me put this in here, put that in there and get this out of the way. Okay, so we will set her up on this box right here. This is convenient. Her base actually says front which you don't see on a lot of animatronics. Excuse me, miss, I'm gonna put your head down here a minute. All right, let's get these instructions out. What is this, press against, oh, this is one of those things that you use. It's got a little nib and you press it to release um, different things. Like there must be a place where there's one of these holes that's not easy to access. So you probably have to stick this like inside the leg in order to push that when you take her apart. We got the hip hoop, the power box, the four poles. We got the base, the plug, the legs, the torso. Yay! Okay, so B goes in here. Next one in there. Two more. Next up, the lovely legs. So right down there. Next up is the power box. Hip hoop. All right, clothes are up next. The arms came inside the clothes, but in the instructions, the arms aren't on yet. So I wonder if we can pull this off. This wire dress, is, ah, there we go. It's supposed to open up 
to hold the dress open. Okay, I got it. Okay, this is the front. So this goes down. Looks like we got a couple things to plug in here. Okay, G to G. We got an H to H. And we got an I here, but I don't know where that one goes yet. Next up, little lady's torso. And that goes up here. Snaps right in. And in there is our missing wire, that's I. Okay, looks like everything's plugged in. Got the volume control up. Now we gotta hook in the arms. So, all right, there's one. The stabber arm. And this one goes right in here. Excuse me, miss. This foam thing comes down over the arm. Up over the shoulder. Up over this shoulder. All right, coming along so far. The Velcro's already on her hands. Power cord plugged in. And then we Velcro everything together. Looks pretty spiffy there. I'm gonna take her down off of the box here. I'll spread out her pleats a little bit. Let's get you a little bit more presentable. You are going to the fish under the sea dance after all. Tuck all that in. All that's left is to plug her in. And here we go. Where's the sensor? Oh, uh-oh. She goes on for a long time, guys. And the first thing I notice is she's really crackly. The sound box, like I haven't watched anybody else's videos, but I don't know if that's right. She sounds very, very crackly, almost like you're on a radio station that you're not quite on and it's crackling all along while you're trying to listen to the music. Let me turn her up again. Yeah, even with like the echo that I know is in this room, she sounds really, really crackly. So I'm gonna have to watch some other videos and I might have to contact them to see if I can get another box because I, don't, I just don't know if that's right. She looks totally awesome and we're gonna get a close up on her face here right now. But yeah, that sound, it's only turned up about a third of the way and it's really loud and really crackly. So here we go. Yeah, I absolutely love her face when she lights up like that. I'm just gonna turn her down for a minute so we can look at her face. I love that, I think that looks so cool. I've got it as dark in here as I can get it right now because it's daytime, so there's lots of light coming in the windows. But even at that, that looks really, really cool right there. I messed with some of her plugs back there and Yeah, she still sounds pretty bad, but she looks absolutely awesome. So you guys tell me, is it supposed to be crackly like that? Maybe it is. Maybe it's supposed to be crackly like that because it's supposed to be like a 1950s thing. All right, guys. Well, there she is. Shirley Stab, killer from the 1950s, stabbing with her left arm. I think she's totally awesome all around except for that sound. If that's the way she's supposed to sound, I don't really like that, but I'm gonna look into it. Make sure you guys give me a thumbs up, leave me a comment below, and let me know what you think personally about Shirley Stab. 